I'm here with the director of Nana's Naughty Knickers, Corey Dizitel. Uh, Corey, why don't you tell us uh, about this great show? Well, uh, this is a definitely a comedy, uh, full of surprises, full of laughs. It's really going to be funny. It's actually a story about Bridget, who uh, Nana, decides to go spend the summer with her dear sweet grandmother in New York City. But what she doesn't know is that uh, her grandmother runs an illegal boutique out of her apartment selling uh, handmade naughty knickers, lingerie to all the seniors in the area. So uh, as people come into the show, like we wonder what's going to happen with Nana as people find out. Is she going to get evicted? Is she going to get arrested? Uh, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So it's full of surprises. Now talk about the characters that are involved in the show and talk about the cast. Lots of characters. There's uh, a lady, uh, kind of a lady of the night who works for a uh, a shop, a risky kind of shop that comes into play. There's a landlord who wants to get Nana evicted. Uh, he's trying everything to get her out. Nana and herself and her best friend are, are hilarious characters that play off each other very well. Uh, the great thing about the show is it brings together new talent that it's their first show with uh, SVTC. And it also brings actors who have been with the company for a very long time who have not been on the set are on the scene and uh, they're kind of taking this show to get back into the game and have some fun with it. So it's really great the balance of uh, talent we have. What attracted you to uh, this play? Well, what attracted to me was exactly that, the different characters and that you, the flow was perfect. You never, like it was surprise after surprise. You never knew what was gonna happen next. And just when you thought, you know, everything's funny as it is, something else happens like there's different stuff hidden in the apartment uh, that turn the apartment into kind of like a boutique of all this lingerie and they're hidden within the walls i won't tell too much of it because i don't want to give it away but there's definitely some fun stuff hidden inside this apartment all right guys we'll take a minute or two and we'll get ready to start act one a lot of people don't know you're a first time director and you're doing such a great job what has it been like uh, for you uh, to undertake this show it's definitely been exciting i i definitely did not know what all came with the job uh, but the people that i have that are working for me are making it very easy uh, to work with them they're giving me a lot of advice uh, I have a great mentor in, in Lacey Petrinka who's helping me out too, my stage manager. Everyone is kind of like veteran, you know. I have almost like the best of the best in all my production team. And I'd say with the actors too, I got uh, pretty lucky. And finally, um, you can tell us maybe what the, uh, the show dates are. I understand that uh, you have a uh, matinee sold out, which is perfect because as not a lot of people are aware, um, this is going to be the last show in uh, the Dream Builder studio. So um, talk about that and give us the dates. Absolutely. The show dates are going to be June 16th and 17th uh, and also June 22nd, 23rd and 24th. Those are all night performances at 7.30 p.m. Uh, like you said, the, uh, the matinee is sold out, but there are still tickets available for those other shows. So you should really uh, get them soon because they are going quite fast. So people definitely don't want to miss this one. Definitely not. You're so in company, but oh my God, what are we two wonderful?